Alright, what's up guys? Sean back with another video and we got Crystal Store from the new season of My 600 Pound Life and one of the ones you guys were like, it's definitely one of the better episodes. So I guess the new season, maybe they're back on their old crazy stuff like they used to be. But uh, let's check it out and see what uh, Crystal's got going on. There's like butt butter all over it or something. Also, we're in Idaho, where the effing potatoes from McDonald's come from. So I think we figured out why this situation may have just got as bad as it did. Well, God woke me up today, so that was a plus. That's one thing that's good, is there's days where I don't want to get out of bed because of how bad the pain is. I'm constantly in pain because of the weight, my body, the fat. But I know I have to get out of the bed because I know if I am bedridden, I would just give up and it would be. That's kind of the point everyone's scared to get to because once you are bed bound, like some of the people on the show you see that get that bad, like, your will that's, like, just barely hanging on, it ju it's just totally gone. The game over. Already? Let's go. I live with my fiancé. Is that Tinkerbell sitting on a mushroom? That's a wildly suggestive tattoo, if I do say so myself. Hey, Damien and my two daughters, Faith and Rai, and my parents. We have lived here with my parents for the last three months, and we just moved in because I needed a little extra help. So mom and dad said, come on back home. I absolutely hate it. I feel like I'm a child and have to have mommy and daddy take care of me. This one. I'm sorry. There's so much I can't do. It's challenging. Uh, is that her dad? Because I always think people, they would have to feel so bad to strip in front of your parents, right? Even if you're in a bad way, I imagine that's the last thing you want to do. Especially when Faith's at school and Damien's at work. It takes me having help now to be able to get into the shower and have a shower. There you go, sweetheart. All right. I do help Crystal a lot. Never mind, it's her. Why are they living with her parents if she has a fiance and a whole family? And why is there a bar stool in the bathtub? So many questions here. Getting in the Why shower, is that helping her at the shower. If we go to the grocery stores, grabbing the groceries and grabbing her wheelchair, and is it's very hard for her to move around a lot. Okay, honey. Yes. Can you turn on the water? Yep. Wouldn't you want to turn it on first, though? Because I for one, have to heat up the shower first. I hate that blast of cold water that comes out at first. We have to take the shower doors off so I could fit. The shower chair I did have broke, so now I sit on my parents' bar stool to shower. Did you punch out the window too? Uh, this is starting off weird i'm hoping this one gets a lot better and it is difficult to shower because i can't reach everywhere that's important to be clean and i can you know only do the best i can translation i can't scrub my snatch can you shut this off, please? Okay. 
the part I worry the most about not getting clean is under my stomach because it collects so much moisture there and sweat that it causes yeast infections under my the antifungal it's gross man that's probably like one of the grossest things about being that big not being able to clean those certain areas but those rashes smell like death man they're bad it folds bacteria just grows and it causes the very foul odor i call it the dead body smell i'm constantly worried that somebody's gonna smell it yeah you join the walking dead weight club when you get up above i'd say four or five six hundred it's nasty it's uh, people definitely will smell it i think people could smell it like across a damn walmart Slide to the left. There you go, sweetheart. Thank you, babe. You're welcome. My hip only popped <coughs> 12 times. Grinding. <laughs> Ouch. You should turn on my other light. There we go. Don't wait, gotta go put the doors back on. Yeah, I don't think I ever got, like, deconstruction fat. I don't think anybody was taking things apart for me. I think I might have broke a few things, though. I definitely broke a few things. But, yeah, deconstruction fat, that's a whole another ordeal. Putting the doors on right now. Oh. I'm Rye, and I'm Crystal's daughter. My mom's been big my Hi, whole Rye. life, and so I've constantly had the fear that she's going to die and been told by doctors that she's not going to make it very much longer and everything and so it's been really scary because my mom's my best friend and without my mom i think all of us would go crazy she's our rock rock candy the doctor says your bones and everything has aged way faster than they should have i'd be curious for them to see what age my bones are i gotta be like 20 years older than i am but it's hard to stop eating because it makes you feel good. You don't want to stop. Food is there. It doesn't judge. It's love. I don't think I ever got, like, overly horny for some hash browns or anything. But, yeah, I guess to some people, food is love. Growing up in my childhood, my parents, yeah, they seem pretty happy for the most part. Does that look like a happy baby to you, though? Because that baby looks downright depressed. Oh, sad little thing. They worked all the time. My dad is a master technician, certified mechanic. And my mom worked in, like, the potato plants. I told you it had something to do with McDonald's potatoes from Idaho. Me and my two brothers, Jeremy and Rob, we didn't have our parents' homes, so we could eat whatever we wanted, pretty much. Her weight gain, it started really early. She was 9'2 when I had her, and the weight kept adding on to her and on to her, and... 9 is a pretty big... Actually, my older brother was 9-3. I was 7-1 when I was born, which is wildly misleading because I was the smallest of my three brothers to become the biggest. When she started kindergarten, she was about 105 pounds. That seems like a lot of times she didn't eat no more than her brothers did either, but she liked to eat. My parents had a problem with um, alcohol. They would say that they were going to the bar and... By 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, you could usually hear my mom and dad fighting and screaming. I'm so happy that my parents never really drank. That was never an issue in my household. They'd get like a six-pack and maybe drink it every couple months. Like, that was it. It was scary for me as a child. But when I turned to food, it would calm me, so... I made that same effing teddy bear cake. Probably about the same age. 
What? This is like a blast from the past. That's what I wanted to feel was, you know, at peace. Reese peace. I went to school, did everything every other normal kid did. But school's very hard for me growing up. Kids were mean. That is the little girl from The Shining if she was a little bit heavier, isn't it? That's kind of scary. That's definitely The Shining girl right there. To me, they would name call and pick on me. I was traumatizing. I would want to eat. And then when I became aware of being overweight was probably when I was 10 after being ran over. You got hit by a car? What kind of crazy shit is this? Also, I, I'm just so, I can't, I forgot what else I was gonna say. At 10, I was in the 200s. I was walking to school with one of my good friends. I got hit by an SUV walking in the crosswalk and I flew from one side of the road to the next. Holy hell. More cushion for the pushing, though, I guess. She seems like she's all right for getting, like, crashed into, like, full-on, like, full-speed collision into a little... That's insane, dude. They had to have a whole bunch of stitches and staples put in there. The That's doctor it? said if I wouldn't have been as big as I was then, I more than likely would have been dead right there on the road. That's, that's why I got fat, too. I was preparing to be hit by a full-speed car. Uh, demolition derby, like diabetes fat. That's what I was going for. So, in my mind, it's been like, you need to stay a bigger size so you will be here. How many effing cars are you expecting to get hit by, lady? I'd like to think that that's a one-off situation. What time does Faith get off school? She'll be home at three. Recovering from those injuries was tough because it gave me an excuse to eat all kinds of ice cream and just lie around. And so I kept getting bigger. That's when I realized food is a comfort. A co Does it work that way though? A little bit of blue bell for the bruises? Does that like heal things? I, I guess it healed her. She's talking about how much she loves food. Couldn't wait to be done with school. My overall feeling of being in high school a lot of times was stress. I had a lot of anxiety. I believe I was 14 when Cody and I started dating. Is, is that supposed to be a butterfly? That just looks like some... And I was 15 when we started being intimate. Damn, and there's a lollipop back here for later. You guys notice that? Saving for later. And then I was 16 years old when I had my son, Devin. Whoa. He was a very unexpected child, but... Who's the creepy guy in the background peeking through the window? Is that supposed to be Santa? That don't look like no Santa to me. I would have to say me having my son saved my life because loving him gave me a purpose that I needed. She had Probably also helped you gain a little bit of weight to prepare for the next car coming through. But... This little boy, and so I made sure I had her finish high school, and I'd take care of him during the day, and then when she got home, I'd say, here's your son, it's your turn now. But yeah, I've tried to help her her whole life. For a career path from leaving high school, I didn't have a career path. I have had a few jobs. I could have worked at like a circus, so let the circ, the circ this, I don't even know how the hell you say that shit. Could have worked at one of them and been like the amazing lady that gets hit by cars, I guess. Jobs that only lasted very little because I couldn't do it. It was too hard on me. And so my significant other has always had to pick up the slack after Devin was born, me and Cody actually stayed together for a while. We even got married before I had my first daughter, Rye, but our relationship was never quite healthy, and we wound. Wow, 
this lady's really just all gas, no brakes. She really ain't stopping pumping out the kids that quick. Wound up splitting up. Then a little while later, I got together with Faith's dad and we got married. But he went looking for love outside the marriage. So that one didn't work out. But I wouldn't really call myself lucky in love until the- Hold on, she's been married twice already? And that's not this guy, right? I don't think that's the same guy. Damien. Actually, Damien first came along a long time ago. We were about nine years old when we met each other, and and then her and I just saw eye to eye, and, and then we lost contact for a while, and then we... Did you lose contact because she popped you in the mouth and knocked that tooth out? But, uh... Do you guys have somebody that, like, when you were nine, you had a crush on? I don't think I do. I think the first girl I ever had a crush on was because she was taller than me. And I just was, I was already, like, six damn feet tall, and she was, like, six one. I was like, holy shit, that's hot. Got ring contact again. She's got this sparkling personality. She's really outgoing and very happy, and I love her very dearly. I love about Damien is, like, he is kind, very understanding. And he's very supportive. He's a pushover. You could have just said it that way, but we'll sugarcoat things since we are on a show where we're over 600 pounds. And I feel really lucky to have found the love of my life. And soon we're going to make it official and get married. And I can't wait for that. But I won't let myself do it until my health is better. Because my weight went from like 400 in my late 20s to now it's well over 600. Um, third time's a charm, but she's really good. The wedding cake, I sh I'd probably get married for the food, honestly, if I wasn't on a weight loss journey right now. I'm not going to do the wedding until I know I'm on a better path, and that means I have to change. Okay, you want to clean up, please, ma'am? Thank you. I've tried numerous of times to change eating habits to get help here in Idaho, but it's been always a challenge because they're not equipped to deal with somebody my size. Is Idaho not prepared for big people? I think the U.S. is preparing more for big people than ever. Don't they have some kind of rule where you like have to give super big people an extra seat on an airplane now? Hi, Mom. Hi, baby. So, we were waiting for you. Okay. So, we could go grocery shopping. Grocery shopping. shopping. Is that exciting? <laughs> I like grocery shopping. I hate it. So. She probably likes it because it's the only thing she gets to do with you, to be honest, which is like heartbreaking. So, you, you need to go put up your coat and your book bag so we can go, okay? We're okay. waiting for you. I always have somebody come with me i have to have help with the will probably stop having people come with you we wouldn't have so many kids and so many marriages well, but... chair because i can't physically walk far further than like three to five steps without having to stop well, wobble baby wobble baby, wobble, baby wobble. one moment mom she's coming up Double chin clamp on the cane is a crazy move that only fat people that can be hit by cars and survive could probably pull off. So, 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 so. <sighs> I absolutely hate it. Feels embarrassing to be out in public because I know everybody's staring and it hurts. You get. Oh, screw them. People are going to stare at you no matter what. I find they typically stare at me because I'm doing some kind of weird stuff walking through the store. Like, uh, I don't know, maybe picking up a pair of like bright pink underwear and asking if they're my color or something. I'm always doing something weird. Her feelings. And a lot of times my kids are with me and so they do get upset. So it gives me anxiety. See, uh, close it and put the 
why is Chevy not using this as advertising? Like, all the My 600 Pound Life stars drive a Chevy. Like, they definitely could advertise that. We have to get steaks. Those are big boy steaks. Steaks? We're eating pretty good for being in, like, a busted up trailer, but... Potatoes. Yep. Stuff for mac and cheese. Where would the cheese be? Down at the door. Is that a real life question? You've been to a grocery store. Oh, I'm assuming you've been to a grocery store before. Harry. Okay, we gotta go find the pasta. It's not the giant one. This one. Good job, honey. This way. For the bakery. Shit. The bakery. All of our nemesis. <laughs> you know what's funny? If you're at a grocery store, there's a discount rack where, like, baked goods are knocked, like, 50% off or whatever they are. Get them for, like, a dollar because they're about to expire, like, the next day. If you're 600 pounds, you're going to eat them that damn day anyway. So that's, like, our best friend. Jesus. Cake for dessert, right? Second dessert. We want a candy. Pick one, hurry. Yeah, maybe like these. Small. Damn. This is how I used to shop. Like a whole bunch of like sweets and stuff. And I had an issue, guys. I, I think I'm still a little in denial about just how much I used to eat. But it was pretty bad. Lovely cookies hanging over here. It's down on the shelf. Look at that. <laughs> I think that's everything that we need. So what's the next step? This guy, oh, grabbing the chips ahoy. Also, he got the nasty, like, soft, chewy chips ahoy, too. Sorry. Okay, ready? It really breaks my heart, and it hurts me a lot, because people are pointing and laughing and taking pictures of her, and when she... Oh, come on. Nobody's doing snap photo. No, I've never seen somebody take a picture of me. I'd be happy as hell if one of you guys saw me out and took a picture of me. She's just trying to get the groceries that she needs to get through it. Just looking in her eyes sometimes, you can see the pain that she's going through. And no one should be made fun of what their disability is. But it's... To an extent. All right, if it's something you can't control, this is something that we have done to ourselves. There's a little bit, I would say, of fun making that needs to be done because it will motivate you to change it. Uh, I know that might sound mean, but it's it, it works to an extent. If you can't control it, yes, obviously not. Really hard on a daily basis. At times she can get really, really sad, but I try to cheer her up and help her through it. Cheer up with chips away, huh there, sailor? You guys ready? Let's go and check out. It makes me feel a little mad, but it also makes me feel a little sad because people shouldn't be staring at my mom because... Oh, she's just the sweetest little girl. This is breaking my heart just a little bit. Like my cold, frozen heart is thawing a little bit for this poor little girl. It doesn't matter about her weight or her size. It's just that she's beautiful, just the way she is. Excuse us. Sorry. Okay. I have to eat to live. Isn't that kind of crazy that she doesn't need like a phone holder or a pocket or anything? She's just balancing it on her belly. That's, see, another freaking circus trick, guys. If we didn't have to eat food to keep on surviving and living, I would try my hardest to never have to eat food because that's what's caused me most of this pain that I have is... I'm gonna call bullshit on that. Uh, I don't even want to believe that for a second. Food. Hostess, Doritos, Marshmallows. Her health is getting so bad and it's just really upsetting all of us to see her like that. So she really needs a lot of help. I get that, because a lot of people kept asking me, like, when are you going to stop hurting yourself? And uh, it's hard. It's like a mental block, though. So I understand how everyone gets to this extent, obviously, because I've been there and I feel it. 
but you got to take some accountability that you did it to yourself. We've always been there for her to try to help her, but some days it's a little rougher than other days, too. Holy shit, there's another cookie tray. How many damn cookie trays did we get? Look at that guy. The way he's smiling, I would think he got some kind of damn commission off these cookies. I'm afraid she's going to die if she doesn't get the help she needs. And I think her having all this weight is very bad for her, and it's slowing her down more than it ever should for anybody. Duh, uh, you knob goblin. What do you expect her to run friggin' track? You're not going to be fast at 600 pounds. Oh, I'm most definitely trapped in my body. I don't know how to break free without having help. It's going to take a lot, and I'm hoping I'll be able to do that and break free, finally. It's all going to come down to you. Like, you could sit there and joke, you could sit there and be depressed, you could sit there and be a whole bunch of different feelings, but at the end of the day, how much do you believe in you? How much do you want to change your life? And how much are you willing to fight? Because the only hole you can't dig yourself out of is the grave. And unfortunately, you're tiptoeing ever so close to the edge. Oh god, I don't like sideways. <laughs> also, I'd be curious how damn strong her daughter's legs are from pushing her around all the time. Because they gotta be juiced up like she's on roids or something. I'm way worried about the body pain. Our strategy is just endure as much as possible stop if we need to and i'm not pick me up button also this is a long trip what'd you say like 26 25 hours in a chair because it puts a lot of pressure on my hip and my knees and so i can't sit that long driving or riding passenger Oh, look at the puppy. So damn cute in the fart coffin. <laughs> Who the hell got mad at the drive thru and punched the window? It's so hot. I'm not made for the heat. <laughs> it Try like being my, my size, honey. Try being my. Duh, lady. We're insulated, okay? I'm not made for the winter anymore. I am freezing my ass off all the damn time. It feels like my brain's melting out of my skull. <laughs> I'm on the deep end, watch as I dive in. Why? Oh, shit. We're gonna break down? Damn, Chevy, you're letting me down. Are you kidding me? Oh, girl. <laughs> she was back there sucking air out of the fan. Did you see how she was laying? Flasher. Maybe it's overheating. Probably. It's not supposed to get in the red. Oh, God. Quick, stick your thumb up and see if us. Well, you'd have to have a special kind of car pick you up hitchhiking at that size, wouldn't you? It's hot. Just stop. Also, those ladies are probably so freaked out. Like, why is this guy pulling up on us? And it just died, too. You're going to have to pop the hood some so it can start cooling down. How are the fans still running, though? Wouldn't that be draining the battery? Like, we need to turn off the air here, woman. Let me out. Oh my god, it's a 600 pound fire drill. I did not see this happening. This episode's friggin' action packed, baby. We're gonna hit by cars. Cars are breaking down. This is just a fun ride already. Oh my god. Oh, Mom, like, literally everything is coming out of our car. Okay, calm down, baby. What if our car's broken? What okay, if we're stranded? Calm, we're not. Calm down, love. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but that shit's definitely broken. Hi, Dad. 
Um, so I'm uh, pulled over on the side of the freaking highway. I love how he did the typical guy thing where we look under the hood and pretend we know how to fix shit. And we're, he doesn't know what the hell to do in this situation at all. Because uh, fluids everywhere. Steaming. Uh, we're gonna let it cold down. And I'll let you guys know in a little bit, I guess, okay? Love you, bye. It makes so much more sense now. She gained this weight because she knew she's this guy could she could see in the future. She knew she was gonna be on the side of the road, get hit by another car. So she was preparing the whole She's a prepper. Doomsday prepper, guys. This is bad. This is really bad. Great, so our bourbon's destroyed. And now we don't have a car. We don't have I have those same pants, man. They're kind of stylish, huh? The way home. And we're stranded on the side of the road. And our car just broke. How do you think this is okay? I don't think it's the best situation you could be in, but it could be worse. The car could have literally caught on fire. That would have been a lot worse. We've been stuck Chicken on plant. the side of the road for hours somewhere in southeastern Colorado. And our car broke down because we overheated. Uh, how are we getting her? Are we going to, like, push her in front of it? Are we going to put her? They're going to put her on the flatbed. Holy shit. Okay, so what's happened is... We got a tow truck to tow our vehicle to the hotel we're staying at tonight. And the tow truck driver was nice enough to be like, you want to, one of you come with me so you know where your vehicle is and... Oh, what a peach. But that guy looks like he's a couple cookie trays away from Dr. Now's program too. You know, we'll have the keys and everything right there. I don't like this very much. It's a little bit scary. So Damien went with the tow truck driver and me and Rye are, and Bella are waiting on an Uber to be here. Wait a second. If you are the Uber driver, okay? So hang with me for a second. And you pull up to pick her up. Are you mad? Because like, I, I, I wanna say it in the nicest way. We break shit, okay? She broke the shower. She's, she's breaking stuff. The car broke down. That could have been all the extra weight on the back axle making something pop up higher and then it overheated, okay? But would you be mad? I am feeling right now we're at a low point, but we still have each other. We're still alive, and we're still going to push forward. I like the positive. You got it? It's okay, it's just right up the road, Mom. Okay, let's go. It's a nice-ass car, too. I'd be mad if she broke something in there for real, for real, because that's got to be, what, eighty, ninety thousand dollars $90,000 SUV, probably? Is it a Cadillac? This has been such a long, miserable day. And we'll miss my appointment with Dr. Now, for sure now. Damn, Dr. Now waits for nobody. His time's valuable, lady. You better get to it. I just want to get him. Room 401. That's what we're looking at. I just hope Dr. Now can understand it's not my fault. Front. Oh! <laughs> Our car isn't going to make it to Houston, but we were able to get some money from my family and friends to rent a vehicle. Wait, we go fund me to, I guess that's a good reason if you're trying to save her life. A lot of GoFundMe's are scams. People are scam artists anymore online. Okay. That's cool.
Is that thing squatting a little? This better not overheat too. If we break like two cars in one episode, that's gonna be a new one. I think Leaky Booty Lacey's the last one to break a car. This is the test of all faith. This is the hardest and craziest trip I've ever taken. Every bad juju that's coming at us, uh, we're button heads with it. We finally made it to Dr. Nazardin's office in Houston. It's been a long time since I last got weighed. I just hope my eating didn't push me up over 700. 69, nice. I mean, if you're gonna weigh something, I guess 690 would be a funnier number than any other ones. 690. That hurts. Also, who the hell is this lady? I think that's the first time I've ever seen her. I guess Dr. Now got mad, or got rid of the angry mad lady. And it's scary how close I am to 700. But at least I'm not there yet. All right. You're knock, knock, knocking on 700's door, okay? So what brought you from Idaho to Houston? You know, so I can get the bariatric surgeries. So your idea to fix this situation is to get bariatric surgery? Yes. Okay, so... Uh, everyone knows that that's the magic fix for all of us to get this big. What is new today after 36 years that you just realized that you have to cut back? Like you didn't know that before? No, I didn't know. It's just I can feel my health is declining more. And I already told my family if I am to the point where I'm bedridden, I'm going to give up. I'd say once you're to this point, you're already like 90% given up. There's only 10% of you that sees any hope in any future for yourself, any light at the end of the tunnel. That's why I'm kind of big on like rooting for yourself and cheering yourself on. You're right that your health is declining. It has been for a while because looking at your history, a lot of issues with your heart and your reflux and your ventricular dysfunction and blood pressure and all those issues. So My blood pressure was almost always 160 over like close to 90. Right now I rest at about 122 over 78. Like my blood pressure is friggin' good. I see that we have a lot of work to do to get you to the point that you're going to be able to have a meaningful, successful weight loss, okay? But if you apply yourself, you can make that happen because if somebody is at your weight and stick with a healthy eating habit, should be able to lose up to 100 pounds easily in a month, okay? Okay. Okay, new season. Dr. Now is back shooting for the stars with his numbers again. But this is going to be all up to you and your family need to help you too. You live with others? Yes. And who else is at home? There's me, Damien, Rye, and my daughter Faith. And at the current moment, we're staying with my parents. So my mom. Oh, you conveniently made sure that's the last thing you said, right? That's kind of a big deal. Mother and my father are there too. So who buys those munchy stuff, uh, candy and chips and all that stuff? Um, me, Damien, Rye. Everybody buy them. So yeah, they we buy just them. go together. It's a regular old family. Out it's probably the only family outing, actually. But yeah, everybody's a little bit of the problem. I'd say even if she wasn't there, they would get her whatever the hell she wanted. So how are we going to change that? You live in the household that everybody is accustomed to eating the same thing. How is that going to be possible for you to change your eating habit? You eat healthy and everybody else is doing the same thing. Because I have a great support team and they were all willing to stop and join the diet with me. Let's go. The support pushover that it was giving you a whole cart full of Chips Ahoy. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and give you some information that... Also, why every time do I look at his head like I think of the Brady Bunch? Except, I guess, since we're on 600-pound life, we'll have to call it, like, the Gravy Bunch or something. 
I will break down her diet. All right. Okay. If you follow the diet, then you're going to lose a lot of weight. But if you're not going to do that, then there is no point in you coming back down here. And if you do that and stick with the 1,200 calorie, high protein, low carb diet, you should be able to lose almost 100 pounds in one month. But the goal I'm going to give you is to lose 80 pounds in two months. And you should be. I guess 80 pounds is a little more conservative. It's still up there. Like, that's still a lot of friggin' weight in a month. Able to do that easily, okay? And that's going to be important for you to do. And if you're successful and you're able to make the move to Houston, then I will approve you for weight loss surgery. All right. Let me get you some stuff and I'll be right back. All right, thank you. That's exactly what it, like, uh, uh I understand that you get one last hoorah on the way, and she broke down on the side of the road. So clearly, they would have to sit there and eat whatever they could, right? They were in survival mode, okay? But, I mean, he says that to everybody, so the whole thumbs up, ch I guess it's positivity, though. I'm just being like a little bit of a grumpy guy right now. It's, it's a... Ow. Four, five, six. <laughs> the past month since my appointment, I've been working on everything that Dr. Now told me to do. And my family's helping me too. And I'm doing. I mean, she's getting it in faster than a lot of people do. She's up here flapping her wings, trying to fly away, kicking people in the balls, all that stuff. Doing as much as I can twice a day. <laughs> nah. It burns. Oh Hug for comfort. Take a flap. Uh oh. That yeah. That's kind of what your feet look like. I would expect her feet to look like that after traveling. Honestly. Six, five, eight, nine, ten. What exercise is that? Cooter crunches. What is that? Okay. That's all of them today. Yay. 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 We're done. We made it. You're hungry? No, I'm starving. Okay. I'm like... <laughs> I was not prepared for that noise in my ear. She did not have to go full piglet on us. I'm gonna get hangry. Thank you, babe. You're welcome. Take you your guys want Bible. any of this? All right. I can have two bacons. I am so sick of those friggin' turkey bacon. They suck, but I eat them like every day. I'm getting so sick of them. And my two eggies, and I can put cheese on them. My mom will do the exercises in the morning with me. But everybody said they would do the diet with me and then none of them have because they say it. i heard that one quite a bit a lot of people were gonna do the diet with me it didn't exactly happen that way but uh yeah a lot of people come up with that and then they see how hard you actually have to diet they're not interested it's harder for them than they thought so they're all still eating the old way and i'm the only one eating the new way by myself <laughs> Damn, lady, you want any eggs with your, like, your cheese here? How's she gonna go to the bathroom? That's a lot of cheese. And it gets to me sometimes when I'm restricted. And, you know, sometimes I feel alone, but I know it's mainly for me. So I'm focusing on what I need to do to lose the weight. And I'm not getting married till I turn myself around. I guess that's a positive, okay? Third third marriage can probably wait a little bit. You tried it twice before, so it's not like it's your first one or anything. So I need to work hard at this to get what I want. Hold my hand. I am feeling very nervous right now. Like, really Are you allowed to rent a U-Haul to haul you to Houston from Idaho? Will they let you do that kind? I guess. I guess U-Haul's four tri- Yeah, I guess. Sick to my stomach. 
hoping that I made it to my goal weight. And not knowing has been driving me insane. At my last appointment, I was all the way up to 690. And doctor now told me to lose at least 80 pounds by today. So that means I have to be 610 or less. Also, this whole tripod move she's doing with this cane is kind of bugging me. Like, just get her some crutches or a walker instead of just having her risk it all if that aluminum cane decides to bend out. Step up now. Damn, good job. She did a hell of a lot better than I even thought she was going to. I didn't think she was going to kill it like that. Not with all that cheese. I thought for sure she was cheating the way she was eating before this. Oh, I get on that, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, hello. Yep. That's not so bad. I almost made it. Only nine pounds off, so I only lost 71 pounds. Only 70. That's downright impressive, to be honest. She, what is it, just a month later, too, right? Well, what changes you made with your eating habit? I quit. Almost everything <laughs> that I was eating before, mm. just following, trying to follow everything that uh, your diet says and doing my exercises twice a day and following the rules as much as uh, I can. The uh, bingo wing flap and the uh, fupa flu like fluctuations, that, I, that, that's how you burn 71 pounds, apparently. If you guys aren't kneeing yourself in the nuts, like, you need to start right now. Well... You done a good job. Um, I'm impressed with it. Thank you. So this is very good. Uh, keep it up. Now the weight loss show me that you're motivated to change your life. So I'm gonna approve you for weight loss surgery. But you got to move down to Houston. And if everything look good with your heart and issues that you got with your health, then we're gonna have weight loss surgery. But you are still over 600 pounds and you're still very high risk for any kind of surgery. Mm. So continue to lose weight, improve your health. Once you move to Houston, we're gonna run some more tests on your heart and see how things are. And by the time you move down here, you've been in 500s and not in the 600s. I hope. Okay. Gonna work hard for it. Uh, any questions? Nope. Well, if you need anything, give me a call. All right, thank you. I would ask the doctor now for a car, because renting a U-Haul every time you need to go back and forth, got it. Well, I guess a rental U-Haul would be cheaper than a rental car, right? Today is the wedding day. I'm getting married. Oh, these are uh, interesting choice in wedding gown and bridesmaids. Uh, I guess that's Idaho for you. People in Idaho are so pissed right now that this is their representative. You have a hair on your glove. Hi, babe. Hey. Getting some makeup done? <laughs> What are you doing here? And what are these donuts doing here? We're all mess. Oh, shit. Why would you go see the bride? Get up out of here, Knob Goblin. Yeah. It looks great. Endgame. I haven't even done anything yet. It's going to be a great. Right after I was approved for getting weight loss surgery with Dr. I guess that's one advantage to being fat. You can bounce makeup on your shoulders or on your neck roll. Do now. I decided it was time for me to commit to Damien and show my devotion to him by making myself his wife. 
we're getting ready now because it's gonna be noon before you know it and we'll do our small ceremony. And then we'll be setting up tables and getting everything ready for the reception. By I'm so happy for them, but something I like, I like her. Damien, I don't know if maybe this is just like my inner man speaking to me. Just everything in me is screaming pushover, like, but he's, he seems like a nice guy, so I'm not trying to hold it against him, but I just feel like men are going to be all over him. Five, so it's going to be crazy up in here. Here we go. Chris and I are just very thrilled. I'm very, very excited, very nervous and scared, but I'm very, very. What church back room did we steal these chairs from? Because these things are caked in dust. I'm excited to marry this woman that I love. Even through this, we're still going to be doing the same diet that she's doing. So we can all stay healthy. <laughs> you guys think there's a wedding cake? Wedding cake or protein shakes? Put in your votes now. How do you like it? Oh, it turned out good, Mom. Like that? Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty. Here's the pit fresh one out of my flowers. Oh, thank you, Mama. My mom had those flowers growing up. I used to pick them when I was old. There was always so many damn ants in those things. So you agree that bit? Mm -hmm. Yay, we did good. Yeah. We did good, yeah. I'm excited. I'm happy for them. I love them both dearly. Damien's kind of been in our lives already for lots of years. They were little kids when they first met, so. Yeah, it just took them a while to come around to marrying each other i guess they met when they were nine i don't think they had thought although i do always say do not trust uh, like a young man any age because all of us are just trying to play in the sandbox are you ready to go outside i guess put this in your pocket Actually, I guess I was five when I started getting in trouble for stripping the neighbor's Barbies naked. Oh, look how cute our baby is, our granddaughter. Aww. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you better slow down. She's not equipped to take the impact the way you were before. I can try to push you off. Hi. Try it. I'm gonna flip it. It's a lot harder. <laughs> Look at this kid. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what's going on in that little girl's head right now. And the only thing I could think is, wow, this is a hell of a fun bouncy castle. And that's what I think she's thinking right now. It doesn't leave me. Oh, that's to go to Grandma, too. Come here. Go see Aunt Julie. Not dumb, huh? Okay, baby. Also, could we cover these poor babies' heads? This sun blasting in their eyes can't be good. Honey. No, you got <laughs> Almost hit on this side. Okay, now you move that over out of the way, baby. Bring me my flowers. Yeah. This uh, is kind of a funny picture just because he looks so small, but. I'm happy for her. She's losing weight. She's getting married for a third time. I'm happy for her. Oh, thank you, honey. All right. I want to welcome everyone to Damien and, and Crystal's wedding. Please take each other by the right hand. Damien, do you receive Crystal as your lawfully wedded wife? And do you, of your own free will and choice, solemnly promise that you will love, honor, and cherish her as long as you both shall live? I do. Crystal, do you receive Damien as your lawfully wedded husband? And do you, of your own free will and choice, solemnly promise that you will love, honor, and cherish him? Why is there a guy pulling up on a dirt bike right now? Just ruining the whole vow. Start over. As long as you both shall live. 
with you. Okay. By virtue of the legal authority vested in me, I pronounce you, husband and wife, legally and lawfully wedded for the... Doesn't he kind of look like that lawyer who ended up uh, ending his wife and son? I forget where that was. The Murdoch or something? Heard your mortal lives. You may kiss each other as husband and wife. <laughs> oh my god. He's the one resting his head on hurt. <sighs> okay. The feminine energy he's given off is just throwing me for a loop. Just a little bit. Just throwing me for a loop. <laughs> Congratulations. That's also a good bench, man, because the kids started jumping on it when they're already on it. And welcome to the family. Thank you. Daddy. Congratulations. Come here, son. <laughs> I guess you're welcome to. Does that guy have a lightning bolt through a turtle tattooed on his arm? Thanks, thanks, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, baby. Sorry, too. Hi, baby. Like, it's cute, but I love you, baby. Oh, man. It might be a dick. I think I'm probably being a dick. I'm not even trying to be. How are you? I'm good, are you? Good. Congratulations. Hey. I'm so happy for you. We're going to have a dinner. They're having pulled pork and fried chicken. And for me and Damien, we get to have grilled chicken on the barbecue grill, so. Pulled pork would probably be all right if it's not like overloaded with barbecue. We can stick mainly to my diet. Mm. Brother cook these? Yeah. Whoa, what are they talking about in the background? Shove it all in her mouth. I don't think I have really a favorite part besides, you know, me and Damien made it an official to be husband and wife. They went to bed at five and then brother called in because he didn't. Wait, we just stepped straight into something out of the Ozark or Breaking Bad. I, this guy's Walter Egg Whites now. Where are we? Good morning. Time to get up, honey. Holy shit, we're in a greenhouse. Is this a tent or a greenhouse? What 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 happened? You getting hungry? Well, I gotta get out of here. It's hot. Okay. It's been a couple of months since I got married. And there's been a lot of change in a small amount of time. Yeah, for one, we're having our like honeymoon in a homeless shelter once we've committed to move into houston so i can get weight loss surgery with doctor now my parents told us they wanted to sell the house we had to move out so my friend has been letting us stay in their greenhouse for the past what well, is this the first eviction on no we saw homeless angelic angela angela yeah we saw a homeless person before a few weeks in their backyard and it's not the best, but I'm thankful we have a roof over our head. Let me guess, a sandwich? Yes. <laughs> and I'm not letting all this distract me from staying on track with my diet and egg. Okay, first off, all these propane tanks in the background, I don't actually think are for that. I think they are cooking something illicit. This on the table looks like stripped copper. Everything over there screams to me that they are doing something illegal in this location. I just, uh, I, that's what I think. Exercise. You gonna exercise right with me? Yeah. Yeah, we can go by the barn today. Okay. Oh. 100%. They're, they're cooking something a little more than cookies in this location, I'd say. My knee's bothering me really bad today. Probably Again. the weather. <laughs> yeah. No way they just zoomed in on her feet to get her to step over a fork. You know the producer set that shot up, right? Mm. 
Lele, you want to do exercises? You gonna exercise with Auntie? You want to fly? Oh, isn't she cute? Oh, there's no reason to have a kid in this type of living situation, though. With a great... This is the niece, but this is kind of a gross living situation for kids. I called Doctor now and told him that we're going to be in Houston any day now. We just have to find a place to live, which has been taking longer than we thought it would. But we're working on it because I want to get to Houston as soon as possible so I can get that surgery and let the real awesome new life begin. She looked like she's lost a bunch more weight because it's been considerably longer at this point, right? I don't think she's lost a bunch of weight. And they're talking about eating a sandwich. I don't think this is going too well. When Dr. Now approved me for surgery, he told me I needed to keep losing weight in order for him to move ahead. But he didn't say how much. So I could only guess that it's going to want me to be losing at least 20 pounds a month. I'd say that's a very conservative estimate, but as long as you're like still losing, I think the, any surgeon would approve you. And it's been five months, and I'm pretty nervous because I'm pretty sure I haven't lost 100 pounds. Okay, babe, you're gonna have to come over and grab me a cake. Okay, is that 100? <laughs> but if I lose the surgery opportunity, I'm gonna be devastated. I'm at Dr. Now's, and we're about to find out how much weight I've lost. Over the last five months, doctor wants me to lose 20 pounds a month, so I'm looking for a weight loss of 100 pounds. Oh, shit. How many honey buns did you have on this honeymoon? That's a... Whoa. She didn't do jack shit, did she? I guess li even in living in the damn greenhouse... Because that would be like a sweat lodge. You'd think she lost more weight. Good job, honey. Good job, sucker. Did it do good? <sighs> yes and no, I guess. We're going to go down to room five. It's been, what, five freaking months? You've lost, how much did it say? Like 11 pounds, I think? That's insane that that's all she's lost in that amount of time. All right. Well, first off, you mentioned that you and Damien got married. That's one of the reasons it took you so long to get here. So congratulations. You finally moved down to Houston? Yes, we finally made it here. And so how was the trip? It was long, but... <laughs> her poor daughter, though. Like, I want her to do better for her daughter because she wants so badly to be able to do all this stuff with her mom and be part of a family and it feels like she's the one that's getting robbed here we managed to get here so everything right now is settled down and you're doing okay yep just unpacking okay i'm glad that also does it look like to anyone else the doctor now picked up 30 pounds or something because he looks a little bigger than he usually does that you're able to move down to houston but my big concern is that you didn't lose any weight over the past five months and that is a big concern but since you didn't gain i'm gonna give you a chance to get back on track so i'm gonna give you a goal to lose 30 pounds in one month okay and if you do that and then we proceed with your weight loss surgery okay that's less than half of what she lost in the first month so i think he just gives people easier goals now because he realizes he probably got a lot of feedback early on about how his goals were so super, like, extreme. All right. Do you think you can do it? Oh, yeah. We'll push hard, huh, guys? Mm -hmm. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> Not you. Mom has to. Yeah, So yeah. you have to motivate Mom, okay? Yeah. Okay. You'd never eat it. You'd never eat it anymore? She's such a cute little... Kids will rat on you, too. Them little suckers will tell the truth always. Yeah, anymore. All right. <laughs> So you got the, this young lady, huh? Yeah, this is my youngest, Faith. So you got all your help you need, right? Yep, and then and everybody at home rooting 
They call and check and... All right, so how was your activity and your exercise? Um, I'm... She definitely got a little bit of exercise. She lived in a damn greenhouse, so she's basically in a sauna 24-7. She had to walk, I guess, a little bit more than she would have to in their previous home. I'm able to walk a lot further than what I was. Okay. And I'm moving more than what I usually could have. So that's definitely a positive because that's the second you give up on moving, like a lot of people do on the show, it's game over. Like, it's just done for you. You're screwed. My back hurts. I know. It's been a couple weeks. Join the club, lady. There's no reason for our backs not to hurt. Week since I got back from seeing Dr. Now. Good. Mm hmm And I've been working harder than ever to get back on track. Dr. Now told me that I had to lose 30 pounds for one month. Since she's back to eating like this and they're actually showing us what she's eating, I think she's going to hit that goal no problem. So now we're trying to up our game more with getting exercise and eating exactly two teeth. So with my diet, I am actually cutting back more on the calories to make sure I am losing enough weight. Today for breakfast, I... Damn, don't go into the light. We're trying to make it a few more years. I had two scrambled eggs and a slice of turkey bacon with a little bit of cheese. It's enough for me. Are we taking canned goods with us outside? Is it that serious? Are we going to... But she is on survival mode. She said that at the start. She... I'm afraid of getting hit by cars. She's got food and cushion. Okay, pull... There. pull my chair out, babe. Just put me over here in this corner. Oh. Get over here. Okay. Is it? The exercises I'm doing are the exercises that Dr. Now told me I needed to do. Wow, the corned beef, like corned beef hash curls is a crazy exercise. But the fupa flaps, the cooter crunches, those, I guess she was doing Kegels or something before, wasn't it? Is that what it's called? Yeah every day, twice a day. And I am feeling pretty good. I'm really sore, but I feel pretty decent, you know. 19, 20. Okay. Oh. You feel that burn? Yeah. I am much more active now. I'm helping do laundry, cooking, you know. I don't think he's interested in any part of this, but at least he's being supportive. Like, that's nice to see. Helping with the household stuff. Five, seven, eight, 20, 12, 13, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, My wife is doing really good on their journey. 20. She's getting by. Kind of proud of her since she's back on the horse trying harder and kind of getting back after it. I, I've seen her being more mobile and everything. I'm sure she's feeling better. She's able to do things that she wasn't able to a long time ago. Whoa. See, I'm like score. I swear, when she does that like double chin cane hold thing, I think that she's just like trying to joust with some other 600 pound person. Like I see somebody else with a cane coming straight at her. They're just jousting like medieval times for the morbidly obese. One, two, three, go. I want my surgery done. I'm gonna bust my butt no matter what because I gotta do it. Have my surgery and live a better, healthier life. Wow, now you can tell her good job because she friggin' killed it this month. I'm so proud of you. You got this. All right, all right. I did it. I'm excited and I feel just relieved. When you're ready.
I think she can be very proud of herself for that. She's actually made a lot of accomplishments for kind of having that off and on period in between. But I, I've been kind of mean to the guy during this one. He seems like a very fine guy. I just happen to think that he's a little bit of a pushover. We're going to room five. But I'm not out of the woods yet. None of this means anything if Dr. Now decides I'm not ready for some reason. Did she just say she had a sticky tip of her cane? That's crazy. I don't even want to think about how that happened. Hello. How y'all doing? Good. How are you? Peachy. I'm doing well. So, Crystal, it looked like this past morning you lost another 38 pounds, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm happy to see that. So, what changes you made with your eating habit? I got out of the greenhouse, so I was around less food. I didn't have to hang out around a bunch of people that were on the stem fast diet. And, uh, yeah, that, that's just a whole bunch of changes right there. We do canned curls. Just been following the diet. How's your activity doing? It's increased a lot. Moving a lot more, that's for sure. From day one, I saw you, you have lost 120 pounds. Yeah. So I'm happy with your progress. So I'm going to set you up for surgery next month. Yay. That is the like most weakest yay ever. Like, get a little more happy. This guy's about to save your damn life, lady. Cute. I can't wait. <laughs> All right. So we're going to do some testing and make sure everything's OK, especially with your heart. But if everything look good, we're going to set you up for surgery next month, OK? All right. Well, uh, Crystal, I'm proud of your progress. So keep it up, and we're going to see if we can get you some more help, OK? All right. Thank you. All right. We will get you a test schedule, and I'll see you soon, OK? OK. I think Crystal might be the first one that started off almost 700 pounds, then ends up broken down on the side of a road, then ends up homeless, living in a damn greenhouse, this is a roller coaster of an episode if I ever seen one. You dream about this day when you're almost 700 pounds. I'll be here waiting for you, okay? So I'm really happy to be here. And I'm really grateful for not only Dr. Now, but for my family for supporting me through this. You kind of have to feel grateful. Like, I thank my surgeon all the time. I'm like, dude, you quite literally saved my life. Because I was going nowhere fast, totally giving up. If you would have talked to me at 16, I would have told you I will be dead by 30. Like, I planned on it. I had no plan, like, plans on making it this far, having anything besides that. And now I'm here, and I'm in a much better place, much happier. I get to talk to you guys, and uh, it's just, it's a different life. And this is going to be a big turning point for me to help me lose the weight faster so me and Damien can have the life that we dreamed about and my kids can have the mom that they deserve. You have no idea how much I can't wait for that. I don't want to be in your way, so I'm just going to back away. Damn, we're about to break down some moccasins too. Them suckers got a flat tire. It's been a month since my surgery, and I've been feeling really good. The liquid diet... Well, she's walking around the grocery store already. Wow, talk about, like, elevating and moving fast. She's doing freaking awesome. It was hard, but I'm back on solid foods now, and I'm feeling great. I'm able to get around better, and I'm trying to walk as much as I can. That seems a little quick. I think after a month I was allowed like ground beef and soups and stuff like that, not like whole chicken breast. Staying right on target with my weight loss. I've lost almost 30 pounds in the last month and it makes a big difference in my day-to-day -day life. Doctor. Sounds right. I lost close to 90 in the first three months. Now says I'm gonna start physical therapy soon and psychotherapy and that's a little overwhelming but I'm ready to take on whatever I need to in order to keep losing. Do you guys think she's going to get to like her weight loss goal and decide that she don't need this guy anymore and then go for husband number four? Because that'd be cold-blooded. How are you doing, sweetie? 
I'm doing all right. How are you? Thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. You have a good night. You too. Honey, I did it. You did great, honey. Yeah, well, it was... Oh, my God. That you... Okay, I saw a TikTok recently where the lady was mocking the guy when he would, like, call her and say he did something. She goes, that's great, boo-boo. And he's just giving me that kind of energy. Like, you did great, huh? It's supportive. It's great. It's just giving me, like... It's giving me some... <sighs> I shouldn't even say it. It's giving me pushover pansy energy. Not the easiest. I know. All right. That's the whole point, is you're supposed to sit on the edge. So the sound barrier. <gasps> it is. Sit on the edge, Faith. <gasps> That's kind of cool, because if you know something about, like, ovals or whatever, the sound will always bounce off the walls back to a certain place. There was some president who used that in, like, history, and he would sit. They say he always knew what his, like, could, like comp the other people in Congress were going to do. It's because of where he was positioned in Congress. He could hear everything they were saying. It is. Yeah. I can hear you. I can hear you, too. <laughs> wow. I love you. Love you, too. It's been about two months since my surgery, and I've lost another 17 pounds. Watch out for mama's belly. Babe, do you hear me? Yes. Isn't that cool? Isn't that crazy? This is actually probably one of the most heartwarming things I've ever seen on this show. Like, genuinely happy beyond words for this little girl right now. Crazy? It is cool, honey. <laughs> Dr. Now wanted me to lose a little bit more, but he told me he was happy with me. And I'm a little bit embarrassed to admit how good it was to hear him say that. It feels good. I did cartwheels until my thigh started hurting. And I wanted to... I wanted to learn to do a damn cartwheel. I wanted to do one so bad when I was a kid. There's no shot. I would have broke my neck. I was way too fat. Teach mom to do gymnastics. And I know that staying on this path is going to be the right path. That's going to get us where we want to go. We're going to have to slow this little girl down because gymnastics is a little out <laughs> out of reality. I don't think mom's going to be able to do that. But she can take on a car, which is a power in of itself. To a happy and healthy future. Take a picture of us in front of us. When I started this journey, the walls were closing in. But now I have hope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so hope is probably the biggest part of actually being successful in your weight loss that I would say a lot of people lose or just they forget that there's hope for them beyond just like living and existing once you get to this weight. But she did great, man. I'm really happy for her. I'm happy for our daughter. I'm happy for the husband number five. I, I don't know. Three, right? Yeah, three. I'm happy for him. Seem like they have a lovely family. It seems like they got a fresh start, and it's exactly what they needed. So leave a like, leave a comment, let me know your thoughts, and uh, let me know what you think Crystal did, or what her husband did, what they did right, what they did wrong. I'm always interested to read your guys' comments. But uh, yeah, leave a like, leave a comment. I'll see y'all later. Peace.